Ready? Scott, thank you for joining us. Obviously, a difficult afternoon here at the Broadfield Stadium. Can I get your reflection on the game first? Yeah. Um, there's a saying in football where you can win a game inside 20 minutes. Um, on the flip side of that, you can also lose one. And I felt that we did that. I felt that Barnsley come here with full respect of us. I think they realised we were a good t good team, and they were they were a little um, they set off us a little bit to start with. Then they slowly realised that we wasn't at it, and we made mistake after mistake. And then they smelt blood, and then they stepped forward, and then beat us up. Um, and then obviously I had to make changes at half time. With um, three goals down, I had to make changes at half time. We then play a different system that we've we've not done all season, but we had to do something different. And we then play out of control football for the whole of the the second half um, because we're chasing a three goal deficit. If it was a one goal deficit, we'd continue playing our football probably. But we we're chasing it. We're doing things that we'd never do. It's just out of control football, and I wouldn't mind if it was out of control football if we'd have had opportunities to score, but we didn't. I think 56 minutes was the first chance on goal with a header from Toby, and I think 92 minutes was the first shot on target. So for all the out of control football, it made no difference. And you know, you put two up front, you want crosses coming in the box, you never cross the ball once. Um, so yeah, really difficult afternoon. But to to protect the players, they're very inexperienced. Many of them, they're very um, they're very young, and also it's a new team. So we have to be mindful of that. We can't expect to perform like we did um, against Wigan last week. I know we lost against Wigan, but we performed so 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 well, uh, and today we didn't. And We've got to expect that every now and then. We've just got to make sure that um, that we can't. We, can, we just can't start a game like that. There's some players out there. We're just, I think, still in bed. I think there were some of them still in bed, and uh, inacceptable to to turn up. You've got to have your eyes wide open. You've got to be engaged. You've got to be ready. You've got to be focused. And we didn't have no focus today. Certain players didn't certainly. Yeah, is, is there anything that you can sort of put your finger on as to perhaps why? Because obviously that was very uncharacteristic from us. At the start, you know, we're, we're not used to sort of being put, you know, the, I suppose the phrase would be under the cosh that quickly. Is there anything you can put that down to or is that just full respect to Barnsley? No, I can put my finger straight on it. They, that we think that we've arrived already and we haven't. You know, we, we see ourselves play so, so well in the game so far and get some really good results. And then we go to Brighton on Tuesday night, we play so, so well and... Um, you know the way we played against a, um, a Premier League team is, you, you know, something to be proud of. And then all of a sudden we think we've arrived. You can't ever switch off and be like that in football. You've got to forget that that's gone and forget what's gone in the past, the Cambridge game and and the Blackpool game. And, and you know, and even though the Wigan game, we we felt that there was large parts that we were really pleased with. Forget the result. We we, we have to focus on the here and now, and we didn't do that today. We have to obviously take it game by game, but is there sort of big fixes that you think we need ahead of the next game? Obviously, we know now we've got a bit of a break. Is there big what, sorry? Is there big fixes that need to sort of take place, or is that sort of a very easy sort of, you know, session with the lads, you know, on the training grounds, but things right? No, we, we, uh, we're a work in progress. We, this is what I'm saying. We can't expect us to be the finished article every week, which, you know, I think... I think people will. I think you know they want to see their team play well and win every week, and I understand that because that's what football is, and everyone's demanding of good performances every week and good results every week. Unfortunately, the reality is is that this team is new, and you know um, whilst we've done really well, we've also got to have a reality check a little bit and say, yeah, we we have done well, but we're playing against uh, opposition today who are, who are very good. Very physical, very um, aggressive in, in many ways, but good in, in a good way. We've got um, an experienced manager who dro drove them on throughout the game, but I felt that we give them the impetus to, to step forward, and we didn't need to. I thought that we were so baggy. You look at the goals. The first goal is a is a set piece. We've been good on set pieces. Certainly last year we was, 
um, and we, we, we just don't defend the far post well enough in that moment. The second goal's our throw in. They cut through us like we're not even out there. Um, and then of course the, the penalty where we just throw a leg out, we don't defend the action properly. We're not, we're not aggressive enough to, to actually move our feet and defend it properly. We're, we're just lazy with the moment. And like I say, we wasn't engaged in the game for me. I just felt that we, we were miles off it. And then what happens is when you can see two goals inside, I don't know what, what the second goal was, but probably inside 25 minutes, certainly, you then become weaker in your mind and the opposition becomes stronger in their mind and then it's game over. And then we're, like I say, making changes at half time. We had to, and then it's out of control football. We spoke obviously before the game about how it would have been nice to take a win into this sort of mini break that we find ourselves with with the Burton game off next week. Are you sort of still branching the prospect of having a week off, or would you rather just sort of have a game to sort of put things right straight away? I'm not somebody who thinks about anything other than that's the reality. We, there's no point sitting there going, oh, I wish this and I wish that, or we could have done without this or we could have done without that. The reality is, is that we are playing for two weeks. So, you know, that gives me probably the opportunity to get some work done on the training ground, obviously. Um, and certainly the players need some rest as well at, at some point during that two week period. But we'll be going into the Stockport game like a normal week. Um, and the team need to be coached. Thanks, Scott. Thank you. Scott, we saw new signing Will Swan have 45 minutes. How did you assess his uh, performance? Yeah, I think it was difficult because it was an out of control game in that second half. I think that, um, you know, he, he showed real good glimpses of, of what he's capable of. He's a good footballer. Um, he's a goal scorer, so, which is why we put him on the pitch. Um, but we never really yeah. give him any anything to feed on, really, you know. So it was out of control. Like I say, it was just kind of, you know, we were just chasing a three-goal deficit at that point. So it was just no control. Yeah, and we, and we saw Harry Forster have his first minute. So that's a positive to take from it, that he got through those 45 minutes. Yeah, um, it was... Um, you know, we, 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 we toyed with certain different things and that, and Junior um, coming um, with a bit of an a uh, bit of a bit of a tight hamstring um, yesterday. So we we needed to be mindful of that, and then of course we didn't want to throw Junior on um, in the game because we thought, well, we got two weeks off. There's no point risking him if he's if he's tight yesterday. You know, there's a chance he comes on and. And, and try so hard, and then stretch, uh, you know stretches it, and or you know tears his hamstring, and then we miss him for six weeks. So we're mindful of that. Um, so yeah, we were we were limited with that, with what we had to do on the bench. But I felt that you know had he come on and, and had a charge about, and you know, and yeah, it's pleasing to see Harry Forster. Um, it's pleasing to see Harry Forster on the on the pitch again. Yeah, um, looking at the transfer window closed yesterday, we obviously saw Swan come in. Ibrahim come in and reports of another player coming in as well, getting clearance. And are you happy with where the squad is at this point? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. you know we've got we've got some good players in the squad, um, and you know we've got to make sure that we put a winning formula together within the squad. Excellent, thanks, Scott. Thank you, Andy. Andy, anything to add for Gary? Um, well, yeah, you did say Scott, didn't you, in in your room preview that you know this is going to be a real aggressive test so you know you, you you did all you could in the in the lead up with your players um, and it was in a way um, a league one examination wasn't it they from Barnsley they're going to be a strong side this season no but that yeah but but we can't be that sloppy in the opening encounters of a game we we're more than capable of beating any team in this division, if we do our job properly. Certain players didn't do their job properly in the early part of that game, so it gave the opposition impetus to, to step forward. I, I felt, in literally in the first two or three minutes, that they showed us a bit of respect in terms of, they knew we would play passes at the back, and you know you, you kind of saw their positioning around the pitch, and you thought, yeah, they're, gonna, they're wary of stepping forward because they know we're going to play. But then when you see one player go really sloppy in an action, if I was the opposition, I'd be going, these are not actually on it today. Step forward, lads. And that's what the opposition did. And, they, they and fed on that, yeah. Uh, completely, yeah. and that's what football is. Football sometimes can be one with the mind. Mm. You know, if, you, if your mind's not sharp and you're, you're not with it, 
and you're 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 feeling kind of lethargic in your mind and how your how your actions are. The opposition smell that and, and they step forward and all of a sudden they're all over you and you can't get out. And that's what happened today. For sure, that's definitely what happened. We lost that game in the first 20 minutes of this game today without a shadow of a doubt. And then it's out of control football in the second half. We're trying to, we're trying to do everything we can to, to, to get back in it. Impossible, we're 3-0 down. Well, it's not impossible, but it is the way we played. Thank you, Scott. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.